Okay, so um, two days in a row. Ooh. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at some things here in the to do. Some of these things I wrote down yesterday, so they're kind of fresh. And um, yeah, I have some pending changes, but I think this is just. So yeah, the exit should be drawn first. Okay, so this is because. Um, when I was looking at this this morning, map one. So if we put this entity here, at the moment what happens is that oh man. Is that? I think it's better if the door is drawn first, right? So, so oh, oh, oh. in entities here, oh, is the action right? So the action that <clears throat> that was something adding the the exit. Where did I do that? It was in this action exit level. Mm. I don't know. It's the one that make exit. Oh no 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 no! It's in game. In game here, when we update the state. Mm -mm. So update the state contest, etc. So. This add exit here. So this add exit, it has the exit at the end. So and I don't know why I did that. Oh, I did that because I'm confused right now. Because the entities um, when we render, I will render the player last. Fine. But I think. I'm not sure. I cannot recall drawing things backwards or something. Like. I mean, it mean, doesn't matter because I think it's because I was, I was just treating the player as another entity. So, because the player is always the head of the list. All right. Okay. So then it doesn't matter. So, I guess we can do. Yeah. Okay. No, the player has to be first always. So this has to be the head of the entities. Then the exit, and then then the tail, and I don't know how this works. This is the operator to append things, or it was more like this. I don't remember. Then we are in the parentheses. Is this the operator? So, given an entity and a list of entities, returns a list of entity, entities. Can we open this? Yes, we can. 
So, so not this one. Uh, not, not really useful. I don't remember. How does it work? Lists. In, in here. In okay. So I think I did. I have done something like that. Um, before. So yeah. We space up the full list. So that's not what we want. I just want to add one item, right? So I would have to do this. Couldn't match the split the entity without entities. Huh? Oh, this is one item. Okay, maybe this is one. I mean, I wrote it correctly first time. Complete. So the player is always the head. Okay, well that's it. So this is... Do I really need the parentheses here? No, I don't. Is that right? This is star. So another thing I noticed this morning is that here in game I have some functions that refer to state and I wonder why I have them in the game itself. So so I guess these two things should be here. And obviously we don't need this now because it's part of the module where we are. So Action import the map as M and here we to export in the other state and what was the other one? Is that level complete? No, level state. Okay. And okay, so these are coming from this come from oh, 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 no, this come from somewhere. Um, game, I don't remember. Game into this const, I think. No. Okay, 
So those say no, those I have it in define here, which is probably not the right place. Is that true? Okay, so that comes from constant. Okay, fair enough. Because it makes reference to the it's a proper it's something related to the entities. Find. Um so then max lights probably not. It sounds more like something should be in the state. And this looks fine now. And now we're going to have some stuff broken here. So let's fix it. So in the state, it's in game state now. Then uh, what is here? I don't remember. Oh, I have different keeping this in here. Okay, so I thought I had set the same ones everywhere, but kind of used to um, that's why it's now in the state. Ooh. I used to the kind of killing this that I have and in, in metas when I'm doing a scala. Okay, so max lives is not there. And this one, what is different? The Haskell uh, language server was different, apparently. Okay, game say max lives. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, because I didn't explore that. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so all done. Tidy, tidy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I started putting it in there. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't change anything. It's compiling, so it's about right. Do we have anything here? Anything else that should be. I mean, this is properties of the window, game with, you know, like stuff, games, scale factor. I mean, this eventually should go in a configuration file, I think. Probably default render red, yeah. Perhaps this could be somewhere else, like here. Uh, no, because the scale was. I'm going to change that now. It's not important, really. Uh, yeah, I think that's about. Oops, so. So. This one and this one. Okay, what else do I have here that I can do now? So, animation for end of stage. Okay, I was thinking about that. There's something I don't like here. Um, and I think it could be as simple as making this white because I think it will look better. Mm. 
No, it doesn't look that way. Hmm. I mean, the point of doing that is that we could do it in the reverse, right? So when the player gets in, we could be making this. Use this sprite and then go backwards. Well, I mean, we can also add another frame. Okay, so first, uh, let's put that there. See who looks again. Cool. So. It's not really on that. Okay. So um, let's go to sprites and then we can add a new set, I guess. Uh, there is going to be okay, so we can keep using the idea. We need a new sprite. Copy this one and we're going to make it so it goes it goes like this and we're going to copy the new frame here in this JSON file which is going to be in where is it? in 8184 so 80, 184, there you go. And now it's going to be, so it's going to be 11, right? So 11. Let's make it twice long. 11, 11. And we actually can use this one. So 11, 11, 5, 4, 3. Two, one, zero. There you go. So that's a new set now, and we can use that set as the exit animation. Maybe. So this is going to be an exit. Hmm. All right, so this will require, so when we, we touch the door, we need to stop drawing the player, and then we need to do the animation. And when the animation ends, then we add the action. Hmm. Not sure. So, entities. So, So action exit level, the only thing it does is the level is the level is complete, right? But I think so this is fine. Just we need to tell that the player shouldn't I mean Okay, so so currently it's level completed, right? And we don't need a, a sequence. So maybe we need another flag, which is or maybe level completed it has to be a counter. So why? Because we could be
in here when we render so the player was hit, made the enemies, we go before increasing. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, this one. So if hit delay is set, we don't draw. We need to do more than this because we can't let the player update either. So. Can we use level complete as a flag for everything? Mm, 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 mm. I mean, it has to be three states, right? So, could be maybe. Could we use maybe? So, if his level is complete, it's not nothing then we don't draw the player and we don't do what we need to do and when the level complete is true we do that oh, or we can use a counter okay i think i like better the counter so this is going to break a few things I believe okay let's take a look so is level com completed equals to to what yeah but I don't like having magic numbers so in a state so we can say We call this level completed, completed, really, really completed. Mm. Okay, we can say exit done. make it two <clears throat> so if this is uh, sorry so a little complete is equal exit done then it's really complete um, Exit started. <laughs> For example, that's that's that how you do random types in Haskell. So, okay, so let's fix more things. So level completed is, let's say, is exit done and it's part of the yeah, state. And then um, zero. Obviously, here is going to be, oops, it's going to be zero as well. Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're looking at the player. Okay, so, so when we do, no, in entities, when we do in render, Or we 
exit in the level. So it's eight and the level completed. It's we can do this. Level completeness is not zero, then don't draw the player. And in the update, I guess we had to do the same. And da -da 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 -da. Can we use less? Oh, okay, unless what? State level. Yeah, it's doing this thing again. Why is doing that? Why is doing this? a problem here can we search for wow that was long time ago This is the problem I'm having. Could it be a regression? I don't know, but it's very annoying. Okay, so it's level unless level completed is different than zero. Then do this. No, can't do it like this. Because we need to take the player, even if it doesn't change it. So if state and uh, level. Level computer, if not zero. Then play the player. Otherwise, yes, pass the player without updating anything. So that should prevent the player from mm, controlling the, so the user for controlling the player character, right? So next thing has to be in the exit so this will create the action exit level no what what did i do hmm? Hmm, weird did i just quit did a magic combo and I quit the editor. Right, so we have exit level. It's going to do exit done. And what I decided here is that the actions can't really change the state. They can create, sorry, the entities can change the state. 
but they can create actions. So, okay, I guess we need an action. So, action that exit level, or maybe extract exit, or exit. Exit the stat. <laughs> what did I call the those flags? Uh, I call them. I call them exit started, exit done. So, so this could be action exit done. And action exit started. Cool. So okay. So action exit the start the level completed is exit started. Cool. So 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 so. so. We need to change this now because with that exit. Uh, uses the function we pass and to check if we touch the player. So if it's fully open and we touch the player, then touch is true. Destroys the entity, and it should be doing that. It shouldn't be doing that. Oh, there is another thing. So, collision is a collision. Where I would find this? I think it's one of those common things. Collision, there you go. If the player's direction is not dying, which is rubbish because... Oh no, that's really bad. This is bad because basically we're looking at a property of the entity. Really... Really, that's not A, right? Because we're changing the state. Hmm. So we don't have that available. And why is this important? Because... Because we don't want an enemy to touch the player character, even if he's not visible and make him lose a life, right? But collision doesn't know about that because it doesn't have a state. And this collision is called deep every you know no 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 that's too far away. I don't think we can pass the state. I mean yes we could can pass the state in the entity but kind of messy I didn't want to do that hmm I mean this is awful well I mean it kind of makes sense if the bear is dying has a different sprite so it is okay I mean, we could be using, yeah, but that's kind of, it's ugly. So the entity, ha well, we have s some flags here. Maybe it's just we need a flag. 
maybe. Instead of using the, I mean, I mean, it's, a, it's okay because it's a different, I mean, I use this to, to draw anyway. And da, 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 da. so I need this to know what is the set I need to draw. So, okay. No, it's not okay. I mean, I. I don't really use that. Mm. Okay, we will come back to this. Not the player. Uh, this is happening in entities. So the action that hits the player. Says the frame to zero. I think this is an enemy type, right? Right? Because... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Because in common... We have... Direction to sprite set. Yeah, I use that anyway for drawing. I need that. So I thought, well, we can use that as a marker. And... If that's the sprite we're using we can't hit the player and because the when the player is hit and, lose, and is losing a life the enemies freeze and the player is like invulnerable so that works as well so we don't update the, the entities um, could that be the solution? What if we don't update the entities if we are exiting? No, I think it really doesn't matter. Um, we should be doing moving the entities. The enemies. Uh, hmm, well, I don't know. That collision is a problem. Because it doesn't, I mean, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> we could have a flag in the entity. But that, I don't like that because it means changing the player. And... Okay. Okay, this is going to be a mess now. So, so uh, could you see a collision force? Well, it really doesn't matter now. See, I don't like that because means adding that property to all the entities doesn't make any sense uh, the effects do they have collisions no they don't but it's fine because they don't even have the, the function here so i don't think this is a good idea Um, it's in types, right? Okay. I don't think that's a good idea. Because it's in reality, it's only a flag that we apply to the player, right? Um, I mean, we know we are not draw drawing it, right? 
could we have a plan? Okay. Okay, I have an idea. Mm, okay, so... So we know So this is not going to draw the player, right? So we can take the player out of the action. Right? Actually, we can even destroy the player. No, because uh, the, the collision has a reference. So even if we remove it, it will still try to... Hmm. I mean, we can move it out of the way, which is kind of awful. I like the idea of having a flag, but... I don't want the flag to be all the entities because it doesn't make a lot of sense um, okay we can do something okay so we read the player and it has to be the player right equals uh, entity or oh, player entity that kind of makes sense I mean we can promote the you know we can change the player type to be a, a, a Effect, right? Okay, let's see. Um, so, okay, started, and the entities. We need to make a change here, so it has to be the head of entities, and followed by entities. So by the tail and yeah I need a parenthesis because I'm going to change the property so type is going to be what was that? it was um, type effect This is absolutely wrong because I'm missing that is good. Okay, so now it's not a player. It's not a player anymore. It's just an effect. Do we care about that? Not really because uh, anytime we we change the state, we're going to. So, level state, no, this is not what I'm talking about. Uh, no, it's in game. So, so level state. So, we pass the map. And the entities, yeah, we always make the entities again so that means that when we make the entities it's going to spawn the player anyway so we can change that those entities are gone okay that is 
not amazing, but it's okay, I guess. Oh no, awful, awful. How do I format this in a way that I looks okay? Uh, okay, fair enough. In reality, we can we say no. We don't want to do the same here. Uh, maybe we do. Does it make sense to do it like this? Um, because mm, 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 in update here, so we always update the player, right? And guess what? Here. In the update, we're going to skip if she's dying. Ha ha ha. Oh no, we need to do it like this. So, dying because it, it does the animation anyway. So, that's fine. Let's keep it like that. And uh, when it's dying, uh, that we were changing it here. going on what's wrong can I match to ah oh, because that's not how it okay 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 so I made a mistake here so it's mm, it's like type play player hmm Oh, because this is a problem, I guess. Now, yeah, because in, I'm not expecting that, right? Or did I got it wrong? No, it's fine. Type player. What is complaining about this? Uh, okay. Because there is no instance for. Okay, the, the right in. Okay. Too many changes. How broken is this now? Just a lot. A little bit. Not at all. Completely broken. I can move the player. <laughs> mm. What's going on? So 
entities. So, day player. Now. This was completely opposite. Okay, so this kind of works. Okay, uh, what if we do a kind of... Okay, wait a minute. Let's try to align... Okay, no. I'm not completely sure what I'm trying to accomplish, but... Okay. I want them to be in line. Can we do that? No, apparently we can't. Okay. That should work. No, because the slime is going to move. Yeah, it does that one and nothing happened. We good. <laughs> cool. Very messy. This is something I probably want to rethink. Right, so... So, exit, action started, then... Play is not in the action, blah, blah, blah. And when it's done, it's done. Okay, so... So... It's the exit now that is missing some stuff, right? So when we touch... We don't destroy. Okay, so... This is going to be different now, right? So, if the set is zero, then do all this stuff. Otherwise, something. equals to zero. No, it's not set. Why are you afraid about? Mm, it stands for set. What are you talking about? Oh, because that is this is that the sprite? Delay frame. Ah. Unfortunate. What is it? Is it direction right? So it's it's the left, but it goes first. I don't know. So no, right. So, it's not great, is, is it? So, okay, so, set zero. So, blah, 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 destroy, do no. We add the action and then the is going to be the left. And frame should be zero. So this is going to be a day loop. And otherwise 
supplies here is going to be update once. Without the loop. So the delay, delay, blah blah blah. Correct. One plus one. This is fine. Then otherwise. Otherwise, we go to the end. Right? So that will be. What? That is going to be. Destroy. Screw. And in actions, it's going to be. Action. Exit. Done. And this is the action. The exit. Uh, action started. There we go. It's actions. And so otherwise. Update once. Is that right? No. It's not right because this has to be inside you, so it has to be pure. Okay, cool. That should be it. So by setting the direction to be left, it will change to the other set. Change the other set, set the frame to zero. <clears throat> Action is started. So basically, that triggers this stuff here. So the player won't be able to move, he won't be drawn, and it won't be updated by the, by the controls, by the player, the user, right? Um, and and that's it then when we try, try to update again because it's not going to be right it's going to be left it will, instead of updating a loop which is this animation that it does what it's going to do is going to do this this way only once and when it's finished it will create the it will add the action exit dot Let's see. It should work. Open the door and yeah. That's it basically. Yeah, okay, I like that, I like it. And I know what I'm going to do next. So, the end of stage animation is fine. But then... Then we need an inter stage animation. And that will look really nice at the so, so basically I think we can even use the same animation, but instead of going reverse. So this feels like a lot of stuff, but it is a lot of stuff. Okay, 
so that's the change in the map for testing and yeah we change this in the game and the exit is done and until the play first okay This perhaps could look better if it was the other way around. It really doesn't matter too much, but I like it slightly better. Look at this one. Sorry, that's not what I wanted. Cool. So, yeah, we have it with this one. Um, what? Did I change this? Oh, maybe I press the wrong button. And I lost the change. All right, let's do that again. Press the wrong key. Paste that. Oh, wait a minute. It's not updating. This is a game entity, right? What's going on? Oh, it's not updating it. It's kind of. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe. I'm pressing the wrong key and I'm tired and I'm not noticing the difference. No. Let's change this. Oh, seriously? Changing the version of Fugitive instead of the actual. Yeah, that's a way of saying that. It's late and I should stop. So I'm making silly mistakes. Okay. So. Okay, that's fine now. I mean, I had to write it three times. So if it's not completed, so if it's not zero, then pure player otherwise. Just update the player. And uh, the player is not in the action. Yeah, kind of fine. Exit has started. So the player is not in the action, changing the type. Disables collision detection. So that's fine. And this is the exit done. Yeah, see, I like this better. Like this. Okay, I'm happy with this one. I'm happy with this one. Uh, this is update exit. Yeah, this is fine. I don't see any problem with this one. In the types, yeah, we added the equals so we can compare directly and we added this. The, yeah, that's pretty good. 
and instead we just move well no we add these two things okay we can perhaps make this better right because so we can say Exit state equals to exit. Okay, um, exit. No exit. Exit off. Exit. It's not. Non started, I don't know. Um, exit pending. No, mm. exit what? Exit off. So in reality, we're looking for now. because we need to change all this so so it's not going to be it's going to be exit on then and this is exit off <laughs> um, it's difficult to find names I think right so Exit started. Exit done. And we need to say level completed, by the way. Uh, so we do that in a minute. So. No. Exit off. And level completed is not an integer, it's the exit state. And here is going to be exit off. Oh, maybe it should be exit no, no exit. I think it's better like this. Uh, so the change here is nothing because we need to page this. And now it's showing it here. Yeah, I like it. So this is exit and city. Okay. Let's paste that. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it here. And for the next session, I think the end of the stage I think is kind of is needed. And it will look really cool, I think. So it's still working, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter because we we set change the state, so it can't really break. It's perfect. That's why immutable state cool. Hey hey. Cool 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 cool. Yeah. That's it for today. Um. Very nice. I think it's looking good. Anyway, next time probably Yeah, enter the stage animation. It's not going to be too complicated because it's basically doing kind of reverse to what we did today. And then Yeah, the end of stage. Do I really want to do end of stage? I don't know, really. I mean, so the idea of the of having an end of stage is, or it was, like, so you get this, you get out, look, you know, stage complete, and maybe time base, get some bonus, whatever. But in this case, I think it's going to look very cool when you go like this and appear in the next stage and we keep going and, blah, 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 blah. and you know it could be stage one stage two or whatever and we could be grouping them and have the end of stage the end of stage or the stage clear uh, screen could be in one group maybe and uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm 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 starting to think against having the bonus and having time. So I mean it's not going to be very arcade anyway. I think. Yeah, that should be fine. I mean already it's not very arcade if I let you retry the last level, right? So it's probably okay. I think it's going to feel nicer if you go from one state to another. We make it quick without those those pause that you know stopping on on here and having a pause. Uh, so I'm not sure about this. This is something I you know want to do. Then the map list. Love for a JSON file. Maybe, probably. Zero padding, simple, easy. That's kind of the, the easiest stuff, the easiest stuff in the to-do list because, I mean, just making more enemies, that's kind of easy, but I need the sprites first. The map animations, uh, yeah, it would be nice, but the format that the animations are stored in tile is kind of annoying, so I need to think how to do that. Mm. This one is also not too difficult, mainly the map animations, and I need to think about how I'm going to have uh, checkpoints, because the way it works now is that if you touch an enemy here 
you you stay in the action, right? But if you fall into toxic water or whatever, spikes, field pots, you can you can stay there. You know, I need to respond the character somewhere else that is safe. So this uh, might require Record check marks, which could be I don't know, I don't know really something that you enable when you touch it and you go there back there. Otherwise, where do you go? I don't know. Let's think about that later. Uh, yeah, the Dead Sprite needs animation. I definitely agree with that. That's kind of in the Easy bits. Uh, 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 um, this one could be potentially easy, but I'm not sure because it depends on the level design. Because you know, background, but at the moment the backgrounds I have don't really support parallax, you know, different layers of a scroll. So I don't know. I mean, it could be nice if I had some like windows or, you know, it's a space base or whatever. You can see some of the background. That could be nice, not too difficult. Uh, this menu, I'm not sure if I like it, but yeah, I guess I will have to do that. Oh, there is one thing missing in the list. Uh, So, notifications, yeah. Toast? Is that how they call it? Toast notification, that's the, you know, you get in a corner going up. So, uh, for what? We want this for. Um, For the game path, for example, um, what else? I don't know. For now, yeah, for that one, it's going to be super easy, super simple, really. Um, and it could be hand in hand with this one, maybe, but not for really sure. Yeah, configuration file tutorial. I don't know. Uh, actually, this. Connection, disconnection events. This is done. Maybe game pass selection is something. You know, you have to game pass. Uh, currently, I just get the first one that connects. You know, the first one. I don't know which one it is. Uh, maybe we could be showing options like which one do you want to use. But maybe I don't know. I think this is for a real, it's a little work for really not much benefit. And then we need to make another level, so. Anyway, as I said, enough for today. Bye.